DJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back again, man. Listen, today we're going to start this little section where I'm just going to answer back to, you know, comments. Comments that I like, comments that I respect from my subscribers. So, you know, maybe once or twice a week I'm going to do this and where I just come in here, read one of the comments and just pretty much just answer it, right? So, hey, Coding Face, do some Q&A vids. I like to know how you came about into the journey, into this journey. I just sub, so I have yet to check out your other videos. Thanks for the info, uh, Adam, which I think is Adam. You know, <laughs> that's probably what he meant, which is A T O M, and it's awesome and fun to customize. So, all right, uh, Matt Pudo, listen, this is how I started. This is like the honest truth, right? Basically, I started when I was like 14 years old, uh, creating videos, you know, bullshit videos when I was a little kid, right? But then, I don't know, something happened like at 14, I started uh, watching Dragon Ball Z and I got really into Dragon Ball Z. That was back in 2000, 2001. And I said, you know, back then there was no YouTube. So the way to share videos, you had to upload it, and then the videos will be like 700 megabytes, and then from there you have to upload it to your own server. So what I did was I started looking online. I was like, "How the hell do you make a website?" And I was like a little kid. I was I didn't even have a computer. That was mine. So the way how I used to um, basically check out websites was I used to go to the library. And basically, from there, I would just go in and start searching Dragon Ball Z and searching images. I've downloaded, like, probably, like, a million uh, Dragon Ball Z images, you know, just to save them. Back then, I used to think, like, oh, my God, I got to save them because I don't know when the next episode is going to happen. So, at least I have the images and then I could actually draw it. And I don't know. That was, like, me being a fucking little kid, whatever. But yeah, so I decided to start making websites, and it was pretty cool, man. Like, you know, I started um, making sites. It was, like, really bullshit. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, like, this type of websites, uh, GeoCities. People who's been around since, like, the 90s, uh, the 90s, 2000s, <laughs> it would be like this, man. Like, you will go into websites that will look just like that. Like, that's how the, the internet used to look back then. You know, like, there was this website called planetnamic.com. And it was like, look, they still have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Pretty much that was my inspiration, this website, planetnamic.com. And I used to go to that website, you know. I actually used to steal their design. So what I, I used to do is I was used to go to the website. Like let's say an example, I go to Dragon, let's say SayingIsland.com, right? And then I will go view source. Uh, and what I would do is I will go and copy this whole fucking code without understanding it, and then just recreate it. Uh, in a text editor back then, it used to be like uh, I think it's Notepad or what is it it's Notepad plus plus or some shit like that. But yeah, so that's what I used to do. That's how I started making websites, man. Like there's like no deep history on this, but I started making websites when I was like 14 years old. You know, Dragon Ball Z websites, which is fucking hilarious, and. You know, that that was pretty cool, man. Like, I, I used to have a website called MajinBoo.net. Majin-Boo.net. Right? This fucking website used to have, like, 500,000 unique, user, unique users. Right? And back then, when... That's, like, the internet wasn't even that popular. I mean, it was popular, but not everybody in the world had a phone and all this stuff. But I used to have fucking people come to my website... And fucking, you know, watch Dragon Ball Z episodes live and with me, and it was pretty fucking cool, you know. And then I got shut down because you can't fucking be putting episodes for free uh, on the internet like that. So they sent me a cease and desist. They're like, oh, 
if you don't take it down, we're going to sue you. So whatever. And then I left that alone. You know what I mean? And then, you know, fast forward to 10 years later, 24 years old, uh, I, I was already doing IT work. I went to school to do IT. And then, you know, because my mom was like, oh, I just want you to, you know, work in the office and wear your shoe and this and that. So I said, I'm going to do IT, something that pays money. And then I hated that job. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to my passion. So four years ago, I decided to switch back and start making websites again. And I kind of fucking regret the fact that I could have been making websites since 14 years old. But I stopped because, one, I didn't have no support from my mom. And, two, because I wasn't old enough in the sense of, like, I wasn't making no money out of it. And then I was like... I need to make money, you know. I didn't even think about Google AdSense. Like, when I had AdSense since, like, 2000-something, you know what I mean? While people was talking about YouTube, I was in YouTube in 2006. Like, I could have, if I wanted to, I could have probably had a, a way bigger channel, but I didn't want to do it back then. I was into music and stuff like that and, like, and just, you know, girls and fucking and doing a whole bunch of shit but yeah um yeah that's how i started making websites man and that's the story of it all right uh what's the guy's name uh <laughs> my puto like pretty much that was my my backstory you know what i mean so thanks for the comment i'm uh keep on looking at other people's comments and making videos about them okay you already know it's your boy joe back at it again bow